another important point in a business to start up uh, mainly three things required to start up any business one is first money you should have a money or you should have a properties if you don't have two things then definitely you should have a goodwill if you have goodwill you need not investment that goodwill is itself investment you go to the customers just show your goodwill and uh, with your qualification everything they will give the um, uh, credibility of the material just to sell it take the profit take investment no need to invest from your pocket that is the one goodwill is the another investment there. good morning india sir yeah good morning sir aap uh, yahan ke alumni ho itbhu ke kuch parichay dijiye sir yeah. i am dr ms r raju i am the alumni of biochemical engineering iit uh, bhu earlier it was iit from biochemical engineering i completed my phd in 1996 92 92 to 96 now i am at hyderabad uh, resided at hyderabad settled at hyderabad i am a entrepreneur i started uh, my own company uh, shri shakti vel crop technology uh, mainly plant based products uh, being a basically i am a botany student from there i went to biotechnology plant nutrition management then biochemical engineering which a lot of integrated subjects i have gone through uh, botany physiology plant nutrition management and fermentation technology so all this to paste together i am now helping the farmers to how to improve their soil health and you know yield, uh, yield because lot of farmers no maximum 90% farmers they are suffering they are facing problem without proper guidance with the proper nutrition management everything so in that case i found before phd i was working with the farmers as a join a job at that time i found the lot of difficulties of the farmers how they are you know uh, uh, because they are de- dealt by the dealers distributors who doesn't have any knowledge in the in the agriculture sector and whatever they gives they would go and spray and no results again they coming back the expense is going up so i thought that uh, being a scientific person can i help them so based on that you know i started my program in 2011 uh, in hyderabad i can i worked as a consultant for previous to so many so many companies later on i decided let us do work on my own to the farmers uh, to help them with the formulations actually for that i started a program called uh, national program kethi sudhar and nbf and we have means nutritionally balanced farming right. uh, i most of people they are knowing no lot of you no know, contradictory things going on with the organic farming chemical farming nobody is clear about that what to do what not do then i came out with the new concept by they are not i am not avoiding them i kept aside of them because they they don't have any role that you no know, scale up in the farmer level and as well as to get the good results because plant requires something and they are talking about something which is not core relevant and no uh, and their practical results also not proper way to the farmers actually okay. that is a practical example sri lanka is miserably flooded with the organic uh, farming that is a different concept without understand any concept you can't do the agriculture so that's why i i came with this very simple technology nbf means nutritionally balanced farming what the plant deserve or what the crop deserve at the particular stage you give the nutrition is not that whatever you feel whatever you want you want to give it you know it is it just need it is you know it is you no know, uh, it's a pressurizing the crop at all that's why we started a, uh, you know a entrepreneurship see starting an entrepreneurship just uh, you know Sir, i want to use, uh, 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 say something about those uh, who would like to open yeah Uh, so steep seen some at this moment uh, no business. i want to tell my own story how to you know open the company so first of course i have a knowledge of vedic principles which i learned from swami guru ji in varanasi itself in the kedar ghat for the 5 years based on the vedic principles i make clubbed the science principles and started my own company so for that the first point i came to know that what do you mean by business so generally people says that business means profitability accountability uh, no selling no higher price getting lower price that is the business terms in the normal way the real business principle in the vedic principle, vedic principle is encashment of customers weakness and excitement encashment of customers weakness what does what he wants actually right. that is the weakness of him and excitement he, ha- he has to feel the excitement of the that that concept or product then we want to fulfill the need that is the encashment of customers need and excitement okay yeah. weakness need and excitement based on that i started my own company because farmer want very good crop compared to the other people that is his weakness and he want you no know, particular thing you no know, yield is the particular thing for him that i want to fulfill it and that is a need for him that i have to match it yeah. and next comes to the the matter of dealing the how to handle the life in the vedic principle there are two concepts how to handle the life 
प्राण को कैसे हैंडल किया जाए इज़ द वेरी बिग सब्जेक्ट एंड माइंड को कैसा है हैंडल किया वो दूसरा सब्जेक्ट है सो so, उसके लिए सेपरेट प्रोग्राम बना दिया टॉपिक लेटर बट हाउ टू हैंडल द लाइफ बिकॉज लाइफ इज इन ह्यूमन्स प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स सो वैन कम टू द लाइफ टू द प्लांट्स हाउ टू हैंडल दिस सो वॉट रिक्वेस्ट फर्स्ट लाइफ लाइफ रिक्वेस्ट द फर्स्ट फूड फर्स्ट इज ऑक्सीजन देन वाटर देन फूड दिस इज द दिस वॉट लाइफ रिक्वेस्ट एक्ट नथिंग एल्स द फूड मीन्स फॉर अस इट इज ए वी नो ऑल द आवर फूड for cattle it is a grass or all, all the leaves and all and for the plants it is a fertilizer mm. so fertilizer means how many type fertilizer again it is a deep subject there are very lengthy subject i don't want to go in depth the fertilizer requires all there are 16 elements are there to just like we want to learn in hindi we want to learn the 51 letters since ancient together the 51 has never changed that it is coming out we want to learn the language we want to learn the 51 must then you know, otherwise you can't talk or you can't write it like that you don't know about the 16 nutrients you cannot handle the plant because that 16 fertilizers are the nutrition for the plant so based on that you no know, because i am a botanist should i i know the plant physiology i take all i took all the you know, parameters of the plant nutrition designed step by step the plant has four stages that is a growing stage flowering stage and fruiting stage and maturity there are four stages just like for our human beings so human beings also there is a balyam yavanam pravamaram and vruddhapyam four stages all there are also four stages are there so what to what fertilizer you want to give to the you know growth stage you decide and then flowering fruiting for that's all you can manage it otherwise you know what farmers are doing any stage he applying urea and dap that okay. that point i cut the weakness you no know, no for me it is a strength I am now. I am training the farmers, giving the fertilizers. It's not the way you balance it. So or, otherwise, they are going for an organic form. They want compost and all. Where the compost is available, where the decoctions are available. In a scaling up the farmers, so the hot, uh, 50 acres, 100 acres, it is not at all possible organic. Organic farming is possible only for one or two acres to run a show of the one family or two families. Not the for economical way to improve the productivity. Impossible. And fertilizer, for, chemical farming is already is there. but chemical farming is not a bad but applying urea applying fertilizer people are doesn't no no don't know how to you know differentiate the meaning also i am telling that applying urea is equal with chemical farming how because i definitely debated that applying chemical for chemical fertilizers they are the fertilizers for the plants they are not okay. the harmful to thing but excess is the problem right so applying urea dap or phosphorus potash is not at all a wrong thing but applying excess is dangerous so there we are controlling that's why nbf nutritionally balanced farming we are balancing it how many bags to urea go how many da how much dap go how many, how many potash will go and other along with nutrition so this is a different big game that when you feed a life it should all the nutrition in one go it's not that you giving urea after 7 days you are giving to phosphorus it is not it will not work out any fertilizer anything goes in a round because in in our plate in a meal plate we are putting all the sabji curry everything in one time it's not that morning you are doing uh, rice and afternoon you are doing dal and night you are doing rasam and like that or any uh, curry right. in a in a plate you should go entire thing all the nutrition at one time to the plant in life that is the life nature actually you cannot separate or categorize it in one way one thing i would like to know hmm. okay, if someone is going to decide hmm. to start a business hmm. okay so these are the whatever you yeah. have explained these are like, these <coughs> are weaknesses to catch catch ball catch the things yes. okay sir uh, tell me some points oh. if somebody is having that points hmm. that means yes you hmm. may be a part of businessman yeah या तो कैसे हाँ कैसे हम डिसाइड करें कि आप सही में एक बिजनेसमैन हो सकते हैं क्योंकि सभी का उसमें जाना जरूरी नहीं है जरूरी नहीं है तो वो कैसे एक बच्चा डिसाइड करे अगेन इट इज ए इट इज ए टिपिकल क्वेश्चन टू ए पर्सन हंड्रेड परसेंट डिपेंड अपॉन इज इंटरेस्ट ओनली वेदर यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम ए बिजनेस मैन आर यू वॉन्ट एम्प्लॉयर एम्प्लॉय एम्प्लॉय एंड आर एनी डू एनी अदर वर्क गवर्नमेंट ऑफिशियल आर दैट थिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी बिकम ए बिजनेस यू मस्ट नो द लॉजिक ऑफ एंड कैशमेंट ऑफ कस्टमर्स वीकनेस वीकनेस एंड नीड एंड एक्साइटमेंट एंड विच लाइन यू वॉन्ट टू गो यू शुड हैव ए बेसिक फंडामेंटल नॉलेज इन दैट वन टू हैंडल एनी प्रॉब्लम इन दैट वन Okay. Then you search where are the gaps in your business. Such a particular business. Suppose in my business, I search big, big, uh, no gap of the uh, balancing the fertilizers. Nobody is doing there. That is the gap for me. Yeah. I entered in the experiment, though no competition. Why I am telling you, the new entrepreneur, search the gap. Okay. And 
work out the different formula which doesn't have other formulations okay. then that will give you a value and strength maybe it take time to introduce but you will be the pioneer in that level so and you will be the number one in that one everybody should come to you if you are selling the product which are already selling you are no not you are no way recognized in that way so you are then you, there is the two things in the business one is the price war one is the one is the product war price war means suppose same product uh, uh, selling you are selling the other other person is selling then you have to compromise with the price otherwise no way at all if it has different products special product you your price is the final one so like that you design you design such a products that you should go in a separate way and that will be nobody's manufacturing that's that's my strong suggestion to any new entrepreneur don't isko bolte bhid mein mat chalna alag alag rasta se chalo you will have a well you will either will become pioneer or you will get a special recognition if you bhid mein chalenge to aapko koi recognition milega nahi milega nahi so this is my style of this thing i say definitely you any person want to enter in the business first find out the gaps in that one and go, come out with the good product and the special product then go to the market make it trial and definitely people will accept that's what i am doing now that Thank was you. simple way to business is a simple way it is and the, the top most requirement of the business is the just common sense only it doesn't require any qualification it doesn't require any experience it doesn't require anything it was only common sense how to deal the customer that's all thank you sir it's a simple common sense business